Good morning, hot dogs. Deca, FAFSA, and more after the pledge. Please stand. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. If you need help filling out the free application for federal student aid, then you should consider attending FAFSA night. FAFSA night is a free event for families needing assistance filling out the free application for federal student aid. This will take place on Thursday, October 6th from 4.30 to 7.30 p.m. with an appointment needed. A quick reminder, college visits are underway, but it's not too late if you're still interested. Make sure you go sign up in the student services office. A happy birthday goes out to Matthew Berry, Edwin Cruz, and Dora Varela. For lunch today, lines one and two will be chicken smackers, and lines three and four will be Big Daddy Pizza. The boys soccer team continues their 8-win game streak with an 8-1 win against Southmont. Manuel Barragon scored four goals and had two assists. Juan Ramos scored a goal as well, assisted for two, and assisted for two. Alex Castro scored two goals, one in each half. CJ Alanis scored a goal and assisted for one. Brian Flores assisted for a goal. And all of our city players got into the game, and despite all the changes, the team only gave up one goal and continued to play smart soccer. The girls' soccer team played the West Lafayette Red Devils in a non-conference matchup. The final score was 7-0. And while the score isn't the best looking, the Lady Dogs played much better than the final score indicates. So strong performances by individuals were had by Marianne Hernandez, playing extra aggressively on defense when she sacrificed her body to, on several shots to stop the Red Devils' attack. Abby Garza had a strong game in the midfield, getting extended time due to some illness and injury to other midfielders. And goalie Clarissa Castellana came in 18 minutes into the first half due to an injury to Vanessa Guajardo and made a lot of spectacular saves to keep the game from ending and a mercy rule. The girls are here home against Northmont on Thursday. In DECA Backpack Buddy News, every Wednesday we'll highlight a new DECA member who created the week's buddy bag menu, as well as give a shout out to the community class or organization who fills up the week's buddy bag. Thank you to the first year DECA member, Jessica Contreras, for creating week three menu. A shout out to Mr. Hammond's senior community class for filling up week three buddy bags. Last night, the volleyball team traveled to Sheridan and compete against the Blackhawks the JV and Varsity both defeated Sheridan. For the JV, Addy Keck, Ellie Perez, and Melanie Sandoval each had three kills. Daisy Valdez had six aces and 12 assists. Leading the Varsity was Macy Sterrett with 15 kills, Erica Stevenson and Brooklyn Perry with eight kills each, and Jalen Smith with 31 assists. The girls are on the road tomorrow, traveling to Western Brew to face the Stars. Lastly, for, uh, for the tennis team, <laughs> first off the courts with a W were Edwin Wainscott and Jake Swinford. Then it came down to doubles and three singles. Isai and Kelby forced the matches into a tiebreaker after the third set. The duel fell short, but they worked at creating an opportunity to win and never gave up. At this point, the match is tied 2-2. Jackson Ray has been dueling it out for, with his opponent for a couple hours. Although Jackson did not get the win, his efforts and shot placement are improving all the time. Isai, Kelby, and Jackson all put on a great demonstration of keeping your cool and continuing to fight until the very last moment. That's all for the morning announcements, hot dogs. Make sure you guys like and subscribe for more. See you guys tomorrow.